What's good, what's good, what's good, what's good, man? Welcome back to Fire TV, man. I bring you nothing but fire, right? And today is no different, man. I got some fire for y'all today, man. I got time today. Got time today. As y'all can see last week, I brought you some fire of people using guns. It's the same play every day, man. It's the same play every day. Sometimes it's in your city. Sometimes it's in your state. But this is America, man. And people have traded other things in for what? Guns, right? And the fact still remains. Guess what that is? It's always black on black, man. They put the guns in the community of the blacks. Why? Because they know one thing, that they will be used. People have replaced standing on real business with killing each other. We got to do better, people. We have to do better. Like I said, in today's society, man, the culture is going backwards. And the people with the guns or the younger generation. The bigger the gun, the bigger the chest. At least that's what they think. But we all know one thing. You go into it standing on business. And then when the other people get in, involved, they come with some more business. And I'm going to show you what exactly what I mean by when the other people get involved, the business that they started out on turns to another business. In other words, what I'm saying, they don't know how deep the shit is until they get in it. And when the shit gets deep, the fingers get the point. And y'all already know it's public information, man, so I can speak on it. And that's just what I do. I'm gonna speak on public information, why? because it need to be spoke on. This is what's not being shown on a repeat. They might show it to you one or two times, but after that it's over. Why? Because the people that's issuing out the guns, they want to continue. But only the people that's involved have the power to stop it, man. People have traded in football, basketball, and books for guns. And after I show you this video, you'll know exactly where I'm coming from. We have to do better, man. Once again, it's genocide in America, man. But only in the black community, man where kids are killing kids. They put themselves in a grown individual's position and when they get there, the kid's state of mind returns. In other words, they go snitching on the counterparts. But on the way there, it's big standing on business. But as soon as they get there, everything changed. It's 60 seconds of pulling the trigger, why? because they got guns now, AKA not only switches, that shoot multiple times and that do a lot of damage to a body in an instant. This is what they get off on now. The sound of gunfire excites the youth and the culture today, man. We have to do better people because if not, guess what? It's not going to be nobody around. Who fault is it? Who fault is it? There's no point to find out who fault is or who fault is not. It's just one simple word. We have to do better. We have to do better, man. The trading in education for prison. Cause that's what's gonna happen. 
And ain't nobody gonna stand on no real business. You might get there with the anticipation of standing on business, but when the real people get involved, meaning law enforcement, that's when you see where the business is stood on that. The minute they go to knocking on family members' door, they don't want nothing to do with it. Then you turn yourself in. And once that happens, everybody else gets turned in. And like I always say, when I come to Fire TV, you know I bring it with me. The proof is in the pudding, man, and the day is no different. So check this out. injured eight Northeast High School students. Police say two teenagers are in custody tonight and they're on the hunt for two more. This is the 10 o'clock news. I'm Sheba Russell. I'm Jason Martinez. Authorities say it was a collaboration between local and federal authorities that led them to the suspects. Steve Keeley has been following this story since the very beginning. And Steve, what'd you learn today? Well, they're actually hunting for four shooters because remember a week ago today, two guys with two guns went up to the first group of students at Imhotep, right there on the road and shot them. Remember, they hit the two women on the bus and they killed a 17-year-old. So still no arrest in that case, but the first two arrest in the Wednesday shooting. So two caught, two being sought here tonight. The weekend, a significant progress was made. And that was bringing in two of the four wanted for Wednesday's after-school mass shooting of eight Northeast high school students here at Rising Sun and Cotman Avenues. It was the blue getaway car that Highway Patrol found in the dark alley and only just seven hours later that held the evidence linking the first arrested. Both Philly police sources tell me have extensive juvenile crime records, but now are 18 years old and facing a long list of the most serious adult charges possible, including attempted murder. Jamal Tucker turned himself into police Friday night after he learned detectives went to his home earlier that day with a warrant to get him. Sources tell me he then instantly began cooperating, leading police to get a warrant and help from the U.S. Marshals, who then found suspect number two, Anile Bugs, nabbed here in the 900 block of North 42nd Street. At that location, uh, we recovered a 40 caliber Glock 22 pistol with an extended magazine. It was fully loaded. All right. It also had laser sights on it and it had what we call a Glock switch, which made that uh, firearm fully automatic. It was a machine gun. That gun matched multiple casings at the scene of 7300 Rising Sun. The mayor led off today's news. Like I said, it's all fun and games. It's all fun and games until the people that stand on real business get involved. And then the finger go to point. I can't make this shit up. Y'all heard it just like I did. He turned himself in and then began immediately cooperating with law enforcement. Why? Because the, the 17 and 18 year old kid in him showed back up. He realized then that ain't no motherfucker standing on business. And he gonna be gone for a long fucking time. This conference to assure the city, all its residents of all ages, that there's gonna be a new tougher approach to solving and stopping crimes like this one. I hear you. I've heard you tell me that you are afraid and concerned about riding SEPTA. You have told me that you have concerns about going to work, to school, to the store, to get medicine. I need you to know that I hear you. You all seen the video we released. So there are four individuals in that car. We believe two of them are in custody right now. We're not done. Well, still no definite retaliation factor in either of these two. Remember, we thought Wednesdays may be a retaliation for Monday's shooting. They still have not definitively linked the two shootings just yet. But Jason Sheba, we got some positive news here today. The worst of the wounded, that young man shot nine times who was critical, has been upgraded by doctors, 
not only is he going to live, but he was conscious and talking and talking so much that the detectives left here at headquarters to go interview him at the hospital tonight. That is some hopeful news. Yeah. It hasn't even been a week since the shootings and he's doing much better. Steve, any idea how the rest of the kids are doing? Yeah, all stable, if not all at home with mom and dad. And you got to wonder, do they want to go back to school? So great news there, too. But you got to remember uh, their injuries in the mind are probably going to take a whole lot longer to heal. Would you want to go back to that school bus and go back there where you nearly got shot and killed? That's the question for them. Absolutely. And the mayor had been talking in the press conference about parents just having this fear about their kids going back to school. All right, Steve, thank you. Uh, speaking of the school schedule, Kids killing kids, man, as you can see. Kids are killing kids, man. Nine times on the school bus. Automatic weapon, a.k.a. a switch. We got to do better, people. But this is the new culture way of saying they standing on business. You are standing on prison. You traded in all for this, man. I can't make this shit up. And the people in society can't make it up. Like I said, if we don't do better, there ain't going to be nobody around to lead this so-called new generation. They're trading books, basketballs, and all the teenage accolades in for switches. It's the attention, people. Attention is the worst drug in the world, man. Like I said, man, I got time today. And when I got time, this is what I bring, Fire TV, man. I can do this. It's a public information, man. Until the next time, man, y'all stay up. Stay free and remember, all attention ain't good attention. Because at the end of the day, to where you think you standing on business, you got some real people that standing on real business. And when you get there, their finger is going to point. So until next time, man, y'all stay up, stay free. Salute. <laughs>